Well, welcome family and friends of Catalina Foothills Church, another edition of uh, the Friday Devotional. I'm John Miller, and we are looking into the Proverbs to extract some, some wisdom, some principles for life. And so in, uh, in this particular edition, I'd like to turn our attention to um, eh, three or four, we'll see how much time we have, uh, that are pithy sayings uh, that are packed with truth. And so the first one uh, uh, is a category, and the category is timing, timing. And there are several verses in Proverbs that talk about uh, appropriate timing, okay? The first one is, and you grab your Bible, Pause this, grab your Bible so you can look up these verses. But the first one is from uh, 27, uh, 14. Uh, if anyone loudly blesses their neighbor early in the morning, it will be taken as a curse. If anyone loudly blesses, now <clears throat> this is a blessing. This is supposed to be something that is uh, positive to make you feel good. Uh, the problem is it's loud and it's early in the morning. In other words, though your motive is good, your timing is bad. Now, let me share with you another one from 2520. Singing cheerful songs to a person with a heavy heart is like, letting, is like taking someone's coat in cold weather or uh, pouring water in a, in a wound. Pouring, actually pouring vinegar in a wound. Uh, that hurts. And so here you're, you're, you're singing a cheerful song, which again is a, would, would uh, be a positive thing. It's just that it, the, the timing's off and it's, it's not being sensitive to where the particular person is in their life that you're trying to cheer up. They have a heavy heart. And sometimes we'll do this when a person is in mourning, they have a great loss, and we hurt so bad for them that we want them to feel better. So we think, uh, I remember being in the hospital, having hernia surgery, and it, it didn't go very well, and I was in pain, a guy came in, and he started telling me jokes to try to cheer me up. Well, the place I was in was... Uh, not a place of, of wanting to hear jokes. I, I didn't want to hear anything. And so, uh, but the person had the greatest motive in the world, bless their heart. Uh, I just wasn't in the mood. Another one along this line is 2511 that says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. So when you do have right timing, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, like apples of gold in settings of silver. It's that word, rightly timed. In, in fact, uh, going on to another proverb in this vein is 15 of 23, which says, a person finds joy in giving an apt answer, how, and how good is a timely word. How good is a timely word? So <clears throat> I would encourage us all to be sensitive uh, about wanting to cheer people up, wanting to encourage people that our timing is appropriate and that we're being sensitive to that. Uh, another verse uh, that we can um, unpack is a very familiar one to many of you. It's Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And it's been misused, I think, uh, over time. But in, in unpacking it, train up a child in the way they should go and when they are old, they're not going to depart from it. Uh, the, the literal sense of the Hebrew is train up a child in the way they should go. And as they are growing old, they will not depart. It doesn't mean when it's later in their life, when they're older, they'll come back because you trained them upright. Now, looking further at that verse, the word, the word train, uh, the Hebrew word, it gives the idea of a bit in a horse's mouth that you are, you are, it's like you're riding a wild stallion in a young child or a child growing up uh, into their adolescent years and their teenage years. And you're really um, helping discipline that child. So you're training them and you're helping that, that, that wild 
the, the sin nature, uh, that uh, incorrigibleness, um, the immaturity that's there, you're helping to shape that child by turning it to the left or the right when it doesn't want to go there. It's the bit in the horse's mouth. And that's the idea of training and disciplining. And so you train up the child in the way they, way they should go. The, the word way uh, is an interesting word itself. It, it gives the idea in the Hebrew of bent. In fact, it means that. Train up that particular child in the way that child is bent, uh, knowing their personality. In other words, you don't raise all your children in exactly the same way, cookie cutter way. Uh, you have to understand the particular personality of that child and their bent. So you, you train up that child in the way that particular child should go. And as they are growing old, they will tend not to to depart from it. In other words, this is a principle, not a promise, as uh, we often see in the, in the Proverbs. It's a principle, not a promise. So there you go. Uh, a couple of, uh, of uh, Proverbs for you today, and uh, next time we'll, we'll try a, a third installment of some wisdom from Proverbs. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.